Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I have another musical jamboree project today. This, these cute little critters are just some of my favorites. Um, this time we're using the badger, right? I think it's a badger. Um, and the little campfire just really was making me think s'mores and s'more treats. So I have a second s'more treat box for you. I found these Golden Graham s'more treat bars. Um, I found them on Amazon, but I also saw them in my local grocery store this week too. So I will have them linked for you um, if you wanna get them on Amazon, but they were, you might also wanna just check your grocery store. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make the box. Um, we're gonna make this little tag. I'm also using, I didn't use one of the sentiments in here. I am using our little alphabet die, which I just love because you can cut all the letters out in one swoop. Um, and then I, I wanted to do like a pun. So I'm put love you s'more. And the love you is from the Friends for Life stamp set. All right, let's make our tag first. Why don't we do that? Um, the first thing we're going to do, I am using very vanilla for the tag because I decided to use some of the, um, iconic celebrations designer series paper. And I feel like it's somewhere in between white and vanilla. I don't know, but I wanted to use the vanilla and pecan ribbon to match my pecan cardstock. So the tag is vanilla, but our badger needed to be white. So I am using white cardstock for him. All right, I'm gonna stamp him in Memento Black. And I chose Memento Black because we're using Stampin' Blend, so you need um, to not use any alcohol inks when you use your alcohol markers. All right, now a badger is black and white-ish, um, but I don't use my, my black Stampin' Blends very often because they are so very dark sometimes you lose uh, the detail in the artwork. So I decided to just use Smoky Slate. And I'm gonna use my Smoky Slate light and dark to do the two kind of delineations in color. Um, the light is, you know, he's really like half and half, dark, half, half dark, half light. So that's what I did with the light. And then I'm gonna take the dark, um, again, Smoky Slate and just, color in these other parts so you really kind of have some variation i did have to look up badger because <laughs> we don't have those around here and i did not know exactly how to color it but you can easily find it online all right so color that and then i believe we did his arms dark and we'll do that little arm dark right there and i just love the tambourine white i didn't really feel like there was a need to color it there are no dies for the stamp set, so get out your paper snips, cut away all the extra cardstock, and then just slowly go around. And I try to stay right on the outside of the black line, leaving just a really narrow border, like a white border around the edge of the image. Because uh, when you look at it after it's cut out, your eye really only sees the black line. Um, and so if you're like me and your cuts are definitely not perfect, um, no one's really gonna notice because the, the lines on the image are perfect. And that's really what the eye um, focuses in on. So try to stay on the outside, keeping that black line intact. And uh, I use my opposite hand to turn the paper like that. Um, to get in here, you know, I kind of saved it to the end. Cutting, you know, when you cut away the extra cardstock as you're cutting, uh, it helps so you don't have extra little paper getting in the way. So make sure you're cutting that away. And there we go. Is it perfect? No, it's not. Is that okay? Yes, of course. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Let's cut out um, the letters because I feel like we, you start from the bottom up and then you can, kind of get everything spaced after you get those letters. Um, this die, I cut my paper just a little bit short because I don't really need that last line of letters. So I'm not gonna worry about that, but I'm gonna put this whole thing on here and run it through. And then we'll bring it over and find the letters that we need. All right, so we need an S and we need an O and we need an R, 
And it looks like um, M is down here. Uh, your take your pick tool will definitely help you grab these with a little putty end. S, M, O, R, and then we need the E. For some reason, my E's always stick and they stay in the die. So I'll have to poke them out. Okay, there we go, we've got that. Let's move that out of the way. And let's bring our Very Vanilla tag. This tag is the uh, Greetings of the Seasons die set that are an online exclusive. You'll find them online only. They are available to everyone. Just because it says exclusive doesn't mean that you can't get it. It just means it's exclusively online and not in a catalog. All right, so I'm gonna work quickly with my liquid glue so that if I need to kind of do some wiggling around with my letters, I can do that before it dries. And I'm just going very light on the dots of glue so we don't have a mess. There, wow, that worked out perfect, didn't it? Okay, now S'more actually has a little apostrophe in there. So I'm just gonna take my um, pecan pie stamp and blend and just put a little, little mark there. All right, so we're gonna work our way up. So let's do the love you next. And I'm gonna try to get this right under my head so I can get it even. There we go, love you s'more. Um, you could change that to thank you, you could change that to miss you, um, just anything that includes the word more, you know, you could change that. All right, this guy's gonna go here, I'm gonna place him here so I can see exactly where I wanna stamp my fire. I'm not gonna cut out the fire, I'm just gonna stamp it flat, all right? And then we're gonna color it. So we need to start with, let's start with our light pumpkin pie. I'm gonna color that outside section of the flame. Okay. And then I'm gonna get my darker pumpkin pie and go around the edges, the top edge like that. realize that sun was coming in that window and had to put the shade down. Sorry about that. All right, then I'm going to take my Daffodil Delight and I'm going to color in most of it, leaving the, the little bottom section right here white. All right, so there's our flame. Then I'm going to get my uh, light pecan pie and color in the logs of our fire. And then there are some little musical notes that are really cute. So before we put him on, let's just kind of add some music notes around him. And then we'll add him on with a dimensional, which is buried under all of my other adhesive over there. All right, there we go. Okay, so there's your tag. Now, all we have to do is make the box, and it's a pretty easy box. All right, we're gonna start with a piece of pecan pie that is five and a half by seven and a fourth. Um, on the short side, we're gonna score it at half an inch, two and a fourth, three and four and three fourths. Then turn it and score it at three fourths and six and a half, okay? So now you want to grab your bone folder and this uh, side, the very first score mark that you made is the half inch side. And that's the, where, that's the tab that you're going to put your adhesive on. Okay. So keep that in mind. That one's skinnier than this one over here. All right. So on that skinny half inch tab, you want to trim off the squares and I go in kind of at an angle so that my tab there is cut at an angle. And then we're just gonna trim these score lines on either side. Now, if you want, you can cut the corners off the square tabs. 
You don't have to do this, but sometimes if you're like me and your score lines aren't perfect or you didn't cut perfectly on the score line, like maybe you cut to the left or to the right of it, this will help your box go, go together pretty good. Okay, so now we've got that. Let's use some tear and tape. I'm gonna put tear and tape. Oh, am I out of tear and tape? Okay, let's use just our regular stamp and seal. Put, put that adhesive on that half inch side and then fold over the opposite side and you'll have your box. All right, now we're gonna fold in the sides and the back on one end, put adhesive on that front flap and fold that over. All right, so now here is your box. We're gonna put this piece of designer series paper on the front. Um, there is a free PDF on my blog that will have the measurements and supply list for you. So go there and check it out. Slide your little granola bar in, close the sides and the back, and then the front, all right? Take your uh, striped ribbon, and we're gonna wrap it around the bottom and tie it up here at the top. See if I can get mine nice and straight. There we go. Make your bow. The greetings of the season tag dies that we made the tag from all have a little hole in them so that you can attach them. They are designed to be gift tags. So that is really nice when the holidays come and you just wanna make some quick tags. These dies are perfect for that. Now I'm gonna take my, my, where did it go? Okay, well maybe we'll use linen thread. I used very vanilla twine and I had it right here, but it is missing of course. So I'm just gonna use linen thread. Hmm, it ran away. All right, so thread that linen thread through there like that, and then through here, like that, underneath that bow. And we'll just tie that up there to the bow, like that. All right, and then we'll wanna trim that like that. And there you go, a fun little treat box using a grocery store treat. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this treat box. If you have questions, let me know. Click the link here on YouTube to go back to my blog and get that free PDF. And let me know if you have questions. Happy stamping, bye.